drop. Love, I'll see you later. Hello, fly girls and fly guys. Welcome to the Butterfly Boudoir. I am Madam Butterfly and you already know when you see me in the wave cap, in a stock head cap, in a hair wrap, you already know. It's about to go, damn. We are doing a hair review. Yes, so I'm very excited. It's been a little while since I've done a wig review, so I'm really, really excited to get into this. Today's hair comes from Bobby Boss, courtesy of HairSoFly.com. You guys can get to that link down below in the description box. I've become a big fan of Bobby Boss wigs. I actually have not tried any other wigs since I discovered Bobby Boss. I just love them. I love all the wigs on the website. So, But let's go ahead and get into today's look. So this is the stock card for today's unit. Now I believe the name of this wig is Fair Fire. One of them. We just gonna go with um we're gonna call her Riri. Okay, because it's spelled F-A-Y-R-E, so we're gonna go with Riri. Okay, so Riri is a 13 by 7 extended lace frontal. So that means that seven inch part, baby. I love that. I love a deep part okay it's free parting so you can part it in the middle the left side the right side this comes from their glueless collection it's hd transparent lace and it comes with a custom plucked hairline with baby hair i got this in the color 1b and the style is mlf 452 fair aka riri <laughs> all right so that is the specs okay now the color on the stock card is watermelon 2t slash watermelon this is a bit bold for me i try colors but i don't know about yellow i mean i've gone like with a dirty blonde a honey blonde but i don't know this is i don't know i don't know so this is the unit, okay, it looks to be about 12 inches. When I put it on, it goes a little bit past my shoulders. It does come in a nice curl pattern. Now I'm debating if I'm going to brush out the curls because you have to be careful with that sometimes, especially with synthetic wigs such as this. Um, when you brush out the curls, sometimes it can be beautiful, but on the other hand, when you brush with the curls, it can just be a mess and you'll just completely ruin the pattern and it just, it's, it's a hot mess. So you just have to be careful, test it out with a comb first on, you know, just a couple strands and see how it looks and, you know, because you don't want to mess up your whole unit, girl. This is the HD Transparent Lace. The lace is very light. Can you guys see that? All right, it comes with a pre-plucked hairline okay can you guys see that you know if I had a mannequin head this would be better I'm trying to hold it in my hand so you guys can see it but this is the hairline okay it does come with baby hairs now the baby hairs are kind of long um, I know some people like to call them bangs because they are long um but that's okay that's okay now for these i'm not going to cut these i'll probably just mousse them back um, i may put um i may use my baby hairs but i know definitely i am going to mousse them back i'm not going to cut them um and even if i do decide to use baby hairs i'm still not going to cut them i'm going to keep them that length and just push them back this is the lace on the inside it goes back very very far Here, let me turn it inside out goes back very very far seven inches okay so it gives you a very very deep amount of space to part in the middle the left side the right side is nice now this unit comes with two combs on the sides there are no combs at the top because there's all lace at the top it comes with a comb at the bottom so there's three combs it has the typical elastic band at the bottom 
but it comes with an extra elastic band in the middle. Okay, now not a lot of wigs come with this extra elastic band in the middle. Uh, most of the time you have to get your own elastic and sew it into the wig. So that's very nice that this comes with an extra um, band to tighten the wig if you need it to be tightened. So with that being said, we've gone over the unit, we've gone over the spec card. There's nothing else left to do but to get into this synthetic sleigh.
is the final look. OMG. I am loving this. Yes. Now, I originally was going to do a middle part, but I'm loving this side part. I'm loving this volume that I'm getting in the front. And, and the curls, like this is giving me so much body. Like I was nervous at first when I started to brush out the curls, but baby, I love this new pattern that it's giving me. It's like really flowy. Like you see the curls, they're just more flowy and, and more bouncier. I love it. So let's get into it. Okay, so you guys saw that I cut the lace after putting the wig on my head. Some people cut the lace beforehand. For me, I like to place the wig on my head to see where I want to have it laying and then I just cut it that way because I don't want to end up cutting it and then trying to put it on and not being able to get it, you know, exactly lined up where I want it. So that works for me, but it's just personal preference. So for me, I like to put the wig on, then I use my got to be spray melt it down with the blow dryer and then get to cut now i will let you know the lace it is very light okay it's very light so you will need to put some makeup on you guys saw me i put my concealer across the front of the hairline now some people they put their makeup on the inside of the wig they put the makeup on the lace um underneath the the cap you can do that it's again personal preference you can use your um, liquid foundation you can use your powder or you can do it at the end like I did and just put it along the crown but some people like to do it before putting the wig on their head that way if they change their part from the middle or the side and they won't have to worry about the lace you know being a different color but it really doesn't matter because if I change whichever side I want to put my part on I can just get my concealer and just go boop down the middle you know or wherever i have my part so it really is up to you but you will need to put makeup on nonetheless whichever way you decide to do it at the beginning at the end you're gonna need to put some makeup on because it is very light that would be the only con that i have is that the the lace is very light so you'll need to put makeup on it but other than that I don't have any cons with this wig. Now the lace was long. Now this is a 13 by 7. So I don't know if my head is just small or I don't know. The lace was long though. It was going way past my ear. So I did have to do some extra cutting. But um, other than that, I love it. I mean, that's not really a con, you know, so... I love it. I didn't experience any shedding. You guys saw me running my fingers through it. I didn't get anything on the floor, nothing on my hands, nothing in the brush. So that's good. Um, I love how deep the part goes. No complaints. No complaints. The wig is not heavy at all. I did use the adjustable strap. Not the one that comes built in inside all of wigs. The adjustable strap that they put in the center. I did use that and I tightened up the wig and it fits very, very snug. So that is very, very helpful. So please use that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the volume that it's giving me. I love the look that it's giving me. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys go purchase it. You can find it down below in the description box. I will leave the link to hairsofly.com. I will also leave the direct link to this wig to take you right to it. It's very affordable. Telling y'all I be getting all my wigs from here. I'm telling you the price range is like between 30 to maybe 60. You know what I'm saying? These are good quality wigs. Yes, they are synthetic, but nonetheless, they are good quality wigs. And nowadays, the way synthetic wigs are being made, you can't tell me, bitch, that I ain't looking like I got some bundles in my head some virgin bundles bitch <laughs> so you guys please go check out hairsofly.com get you some bobby boss wigs i promise you you will not be disappointed all right if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up button if you would like to leave a comment or 
Just say, hey girl, what's up? Please feel free to do so down below in the comment section. And if you are not a fly girl or a fly guy yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel. You guys can also follow me and add me on Instagram and Snapchat at Madam underscore Butterfly. All right, guys, until the next time, please remember, stay focused, stay laughing, stay yourself, stay fly.